Attorney ni Ramon may kumonsulta sa akin minsan. Ano sabi? So manager siya. Tapos pinapagsabi hmm. niya yung empleyado niya. Alam mo sinabi ng empleyado? Hmm. Matapang eh. Hmm. Subukan mo akong tanggalin regular ata at magkakasubukan na. <laughs> Hindi, no? Tapang, matapang. Oo, oh, at the same time naman. Uh, so that's for the employees. Hmm. On the other side, hmm. meron din naman mga manager bumubulong eh. Sabi. Hmm. Ano sabi? Attorney, ayaw namin mo direct. Hmm. Bakit? Kasi pag may regular na yan, hindi na pwede patya lang yan. Oh? So, okay. ano nga ba ang tama, Sir Ramon? Ano nga ba ang sinasabi ng batas tukol dito? Pag na-regular na ba ang isang impiyado, hindi na ba sila pwede matanggal? At kung pwede man matanggal, sa so paanong paraan? Ah, nice. So, gaya na ito yung tanong ng mga reader, no? isa sa mga reader natin ngayon. And anong sabi niya? I am already 10 years in the service with my employer. Can my employment be terminated because of evaluation by poor performance? Yeah, yeah. yan. Yeah. Ang nagtanong niyan si Cathy. Salamat, okay. Cathy. So, so, basically, ang tanong niyan, tagal ko na rito, tatanggalin niyo ako. Hmm, dahil, yeah. dahil sa poor performance. Oh. Oh. Ayan niyo ba yan? So, in this episode, hmm. para masagot yan, we will be discussing dismissal due to evaluations, mm -hmm. failure to meet the standards of the employer, dismissal due to per poor performance, and... All of that, ililink natin together para masagot natin yung tanong ni Kat. Yan. But before that, let's do a shoutout muna sa nagbigay sa atin ng feedback. Anong sabi niya? I love how LegalGuy.ph did the lessons. Easy and fun. For two days, I've learned more about employee discipline. Uh, LegalGuy.ph thought, uh, thought me more discarte on handling employee discipline. Kudos. And this is from Hanilep. Ayaton. Thank we're, you so much. We're Thank so much. happy, Hanilet, na nabigyan namin kayo ng diskarte when it comes to employee discipline. They were enrollees in our employee discipline workshop. Yes. So, guys, please keep watching and sharing. And kung gusto ninyo mag-submit ng sarili ninyong tanong for the show, just go to www.legalguy.ph and click the Submit Topic button. Now, let's get on with the show. by the complete employee discipline system a book that teaches owners managers and supervisors how to handle any offense easily and systematically it provides step-by-step -step procedures from incident reports all the way to the clearance process stand your ground and discipline with confidence go to info.legalguide.ph forward slash discipline to learn more welcome to legal guide philippines where we simplify the law to help you make better choices i'm attorney ramon ramirez and i'm with my partner attorney erwin sagala so today we're talking about termination of attorney ramon and in You're particular yeah, <laughs> in, in particular yung angulo is mm. kung regular ka Hmm. Pwede niyo pa ba ma-terminate? Hmm. Oh, so, kung kunwari, uh, ibalik natin doon sa nagtanong, si Cathy, di ba? Hmm. So, si Cathy, ang context niya, e, 10 years na ako dito eh. Pwede pa ba ako ma-terminate? Hmm. Hindi ba dapat may karapatan naman ng mga taong 10 years, 10 years na siya ng service? Doesn't that count for something? It diba? should. It should. It should. It should. <laughs> but ilalagay lang po natin sa tamang konteksto. Mm -hmm. Kasi maganda itong topic na ito, Tony Ramon. Hmm. Kasi uh, a lot of uh, misconceptions, both on the employees and the employer side. Mm -hmm. So sa employee side, doesn't that count for something? Hindi ba dapat may some sort of uh, privilege or immunity naman ako dahil ang tagal ko na rito. Ganun-ganun mm -hmm. lang. Pwede mo ako tanggalin. Mm -hmm. Para namang wala tayo pinagsamahan. Paano? <laughs> paano, mga, paano na yung mga pinagsamahan natin? Oh, Bali wala na lang yun? Uh, yun na lang. Ge! Hello? <laughs> Thank you na lang sa lahat. <laughs> so, so, ano yung tindihan ko? Totally, na yung tindihan ko. On the other side naman, actually, hindi rin naman guiltless ang mga owners and managers. Kasi sila, may misconception din. Pagdating dito sa topic. Ano naman ang misconception ng mga managers and owners? Ulit-ulitin natin na probationary. Hire lang tayo ng hire na probationary. Kasi once tumawid ng regular yan, forever na yan ang dyan. Ah, hindi na, na pwedeng tanggalin. Oo. Oh. So, yun ba yun, attorney? <laughs> yan nga yung pag-uusapan natin. For this episode, okay. kailangan kasi maitama natin any misconceptions. That way, parehong kampante employees and employers mm -hmm. diba, in relating to each other. Okay. So, uh, to start off, ito okay. kasi medyo multi-layered mm -hmm. discussion. So, we will be uh, doing this in modules. May mga ipapaliwanag tayo sa simula. 
and then papatong ng papatong all the way sa dulo para mas maintindihan ka. Nice. Okay? Exciting. So first off, let's introduce the idea hmm. of um, evaluations. Okay. So evaluation, basically by definition, ang ibig sabihin ng de- evaluation is the determination of the value, nature, character, or quality of something or someone. Mm-hmm. In, in essence, evaluation is the process of judging or calculating the quality, importance, amount, or value of something. Sa, sa madaling salita, ini-estima mo. Mm-hmm. Diba? Tinitignan mo. Okay ba to? Ako na, itong basong to. Mm. Okay ba yung basong yan? Diba? May cracks mo? Oo. Magagamit mo ba na maayos? Mm-hmm. Now, ilink natin pagdating sa mga empleyado. Mm-hmm. Ah. Under our law, evaluation of an employee by the employer is crucial in two instances. Mm-hmm. So, dalawa yan. Dalawa yan, nakala ng mga tao, isa lang yan eh, di ba? Na parang kapag nag-hire ka, no, no, dalawa yan. Mm-hmm. So the first one is, before he or she becomes a regular employee, okay. that is during the probationary period. Yun yung pinag-uusapan natin, di ba? So tinitesting ka lang. And number two, even at the time that they are already regular employees, in the performance of his or her work. Mm-hmm. So dalawa yun, habang probationary, and habang regular. Alam ko yan eh, habang regular. Uh, usually, ano ba yan, yearly ba yan nangyari? Or you know, depende sa kumpanya. No? Usually, um, uh, de, for, for probationary? Hindi, yung regular, regular na. Sa regular, uh, <laughs> depende. Mm-hmm. Sa ibang kumpanya, once every five years. <laughs> Kung kailan na maisip. That's wrong, that's wrong. We don't advise that. For our students and clients, we usually recommend at least once a year. At least once a year. If kaya mo pa, quarterly. Kung kaya. Kung kaya. Depende rin sa nature of work at nature of ano, uh, yeah. the business. Eh. But but for me, the more opportunities the, to check the work of the employee, the better. Kasi kung sakali may makita kang mali, the more opportunities to correct them. Yes. Diba? Yung, kunwari, kunwari, inis na inis ka sa isang empleyado. Kasi mm. pasundot-sundot ng late. Alam mo yun, yung mm. minsan late, minsan yung late. But if you had the regular opportunity to get in touch, to talk, Eh, di ba, habang maaga, pwede mo na makorek. Pagsabihin mo na katil na, uy, this is bothering me. Hindi yung isang taong ka nagtiis. So, hihintayin mo. Oh my God, malapit na. Malapit na yung performance. Lagot sa akin to. <laughs> Naku, gino. Ipon na ipon siguro yun. Mm. No? Parang, oh, lapit na December. Mm-hmm. Ito na, performance eval na. Makakabawi na ako. <laughs> no, no, no. Doesn't have to be that way. Again, so, ang evaluation po, it happens during probationary period mm-hmm. and even if regular na. Okay. Now, let's talk about probationary uh, period. Ano naman ang ibig sabihin or significance ng probationary period? Ibig sabihin ng probationary, hindi ko pa regular. Tinitesting ka pa lang. Okay. Kumbaga, uh, ganito ito yung naman. Ikaw ba madalas ka mag-order sa online? Oo, palagi. <laughs> okay, it's the so, best. So, there are some online retailers na para may trial period, di ba? Mm. Easy return within? Seven days. Oh, oh. Kapag may mali, di ba? Pwede mo ibalik. Mm. Uh-huh. Exchange, mali yung size, may factory defect, whatever it is. Yeah. Di ba? So, under the labor code, actually, may ganun din. Seven factory days. defect? Hindi <laughs> <laughs> naman exactly factory. But, oh. but, but under the labor code, it's more of mukhang hindi fit yung employee dun sa position na pinag-apply niya. Mm. Okay, so okay. that's where the probationary period comes in. Mm-hmm. All employers are given a certain period wherein pwede niyang uh, sipatin mm-hmm. and balik tayo sa word, evaluate kung yung employee ba na nag-apply at tinanggap niya, mm-hmm. pasok dun sa requirements ng trabaho na tin- uh, tinanggap mo yung employee in. Diba? So in, in other words, kilatisin. Kilatisin. Um, uh, ang empleyado. So, okay. so ganito, assuming na hindi pumasa during evaluation, we'll talk about that in a bit. Sige. Okay, so, so that's for probationary. Now, again, ibabalik ko lang yung discussion, ha? Hmm. Tignan ko lang kung talaga naiintindihan. Sige. So, ang evaluation nangyayari during probationary employment, yes or no? Yes. Pag na-regular na ba, hindi na pwedeng evaluate? Pwede pa rin. Pwede pa rin. Yeah. Okay, so it applies both to probationary and to regular employees. Okay? So, uh, ito naman, okay, pag-usapan naman natin, ano ngayon ang effect kapag in-evaluate mo, ito yung naman, hmm. and hindi pumasa sa standards? Ano to? During probationary period? Let's talk about probationary period. Okay. Na. Okay. So, ganito ha, kung sakali na probationary period pa lang, mm-hmm. and tinesting-testing mo yung empleyado, hmm. binigyan mo ng task, hmm. or binigyan mo ng test, 
binigyan pa atin ano tanong mo hmm, hindi talaga makasagot yan mukhang hindi makahabol waffles <laughs> diba that's a PC I don't know <laughs> so 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 uh, uh, ito naman for me yeah, for me uh, uh, hindi siya one time instance na for me medyo ulit-ulitin ko baka naman sumamba lang kuyat lang eh di ba kaya di makasagot di ba nakainom <laughs> Joke lang. So, pasok na kayo. <laughs> diba? Grounds yun. Hindi, <laughs> ibang usapan naman. Ibang, ibang grounds yun. Okay? So, 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 ang tanong dyan is, what will happen to a probationary employee na mukhang hindi po pumapasok? Okay? Or hindi pumapasa. Pumapa, pumapasa. Okay? So, let's go back to basics. Probation, uh, ang babalikan natin dito is, ano ba yung terms ng probationary employment. So let's go back to the labor code and that's under article 281. Yan. So, okay. so under 281, or ni basa, Yes sir, yes sir. Okay. Article 281 probationary employment shall not exceed 6 months from the date of the employee ah uh, date the employee started working unless it is covered by an apprenticeship agreement stipulating a longer period. Mm -hmm. The service of an employee who has been engaged on a probationary basis may be terminated for a just cause or when he fails to qualify as a regular employee in accordance with reasonable standard made by the employer to the employee at the time of his engagement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, an employee who is allowed to work after the probationary period shall be considered a regular employee. Yeah, yeah. so there are several magic words na lumabas. So, okay, ano yung mga magic words na turn in? So, iisa-isayin natin mm. ngayon. Ha? Okay. So, uh, sa probationary employment, how long daw yun dapat? Uh, six months. Six months, unless covered by a different uh, arrangement. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, ang magic word po na unang-unang i-emphasize natin, six months. Mm -hmm. So, ano yung six months? Yun yung equivalent ng product mo. Yun yung seven days. Oo, oh, oh, parang okay. yun. Just to make it easier to understand. Mm -hmm. So, six months. Bakit naman six months? For me, reasonable na six months. There are some uh, jobs na actually, less than six months, malalaman mo na kung okay yung player. Yeah. Minsan nga, one week pa lang eh. Mm -hmm. But, pinagbibigyan na na six months, baka naman kasi, uh, sumampa lang, di ba? Na... Or, kaila, may learning curve yung work, no? Kailangan ma, ma, masanay yung, uh, yung employee mm -hmm. to, to get used to the job. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I think six months is more than enough time. Mm -hmm. Now, for employers na medyo tinamad magtrabaho, mag-evaluate, mm -hmm. kapag yan lumagpas ng six months, pinapasok mo, ang trato ng batas dyan, regular mm -hmm. On day uh, 61. And, oh, oh, no, 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 oh. six months. I'm sorry, sorry, on day on six uh, months and one day. Six months and one day. Yeah, no. Okay. okay. So, so, yun, yung part na yun. Malinaw po, ha? Okay. Now, uh, another word that comes up is reasonable standards mm -hmm. made known to the employee. Okay. okay. So, so, here's the thing. Kapag ikaw, probationary employee, dapat at the start of your engagement, Sinabi sa'yo kung ano yung expectations, may listahan yan, or at least in-explain sa'yo kung ano yung trabaho mo. Kasi yun yung magiging metric para maging regular ka. Hmm. Or, for purposes of evaluation, yun naman yung magiging metric para sabihin na bumagsak ka. Hmm. So in the same way, uh, just for example, Atty. Ramon, ano yung last na binili mo online? Gamitin lang natin example, whether po basta sa standard or bumagsak. Um, ano? Um, Goggles. Goggles. Okay, so goggles for recreational swimming or for diving? Kasi si Atty. Ramon, diver po ito. Uh -huh. So I don't know kung ano ba yung... Goggles pang baril-barilan. Yeah. <laughs> pang airsoft. Uh -huh. Pang airsoft. Okay. So what standards would you put sa isang goggles para masabi na, oh, pasok po. Um, hindi nag hindi nagpo-fog. Hindi nagpo-fog. Ano pa? And uh, hindi mababasag pag natamaan. Okay, ano pa? Uh, siguro comfort, sa siguro. Sa comfort. Sa comfort. Yeah. Yeah. Now, kung sakaling sinukat mo, hmm. eh, naibigay pala sa'yo child size. Okay. Masyado mali. Oo. Oh. Uh, pasok sa standards? Hindi. Hindi. At tawag doon, failure to qualify with standards. Mm -hmm. Ano gagawin mo sa produkto mo? Ay, susuli ko na lang. Susuli. Mm -hmm. So, in the same way po, pagdating sa mga employees, under the labor code, kapag hindi po pumasok sa standards na sinet out mo, reasonable standards. Mm -hmm. Ibig sabihin, wag naman pang superman yung qualifications mo. Reasonable standards na pinaalam mo at the start, mm -hmm. then pwede niyo pong ibagsak. Ang tawag po doon, failure to qualify with standards. And as a result, 
pwede po siya matagal sa probationary employment. Ibalik nyo sa magulang nila. <laughs> In effect, in effect, in effect. So I hope you guys are you guys are seeing the parallels between products and uh, 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 product trials and probationary employment. Clear, na clear, sa akin. Yeah. Okay. So, ito naman on the up on the other side. Mm. If no standards are made known, mm. ano ba? Tingin mo? Ano ko ay diyo? Madaya. If no standards are made known to the employee at the time of engagement, ang legal implication ko regular from day one. Ah, talaga? Mm-hmm. Kasi, di ba ang point naman ng probationary, mm. titestingin kita mm. para malaman kung uh, fit ka enough maging regular. Okay. In the same way, pag bumili ka ng gadgets, mm. gusto mo lang bumili ng gadgets, mm. eh. di mo naman alam kung pang airsoft, uh-huh. pang wigo, uh-huh. basta gadgets yan. So, kahit na mo gadgets na dumating, so, okay yan, di ba? Mm. You, you won't have to return kasi wala ka naman sinabi na para sa purpose na ito gadget. Mm-hmm. So, basta pinadala ka ng gadgets, nag-comply ba siya? Mm, nag-comply. Nag-comply oh. naman, eh, di ba? At the same time, ito naman, kumuha ka na empleyado, mm. may pumasok ba na aplikante? Mm. O tinanggap mo? Mm. O edi, eh, may empleyado ka. Wala ka kasing standards. Oh, so, hindi mo pwede sabihin, bagsak. Mm. Kasi ang itatanong, bagsak saan? Mm. Yun. Good. Clear. Okay, clear, di ba? Clear. Oh, good. Sige, sige. Mm. So, up to the employee na yan, totoo lang kung sakaling papasa siya or hindi, di ba, during the probationary employment, mm-hmm. trabaho naman, trabaho muna na magsipag dyan. Yep. Di ba? Sana lang. Okay. <laughs> Now, assuming attorney Ramon, mm. uh, yung empleyado, eh, hindi pumasok eh. Mm. Parang, ito yung standards. Eh, hindi ma- but, hindi okay. makakit ang standard. During the probationary period, discretion po ng employer, ah, uh, employer, employer, Mm-hmm. Kung gusto mong bigyan ng additional training or pagbigyan ng other chances. Okay. However, the fact na hindi siya pumasok sa standards, tingin ko pwede na yun. Hmm. Ipanggalin. Again, what's the legal ground? Failure to qualify with standards. However, ako yung comfort level ko, ha, when we're advising clients, students, hmm. for me, at least dapat may track record tayo na eh, yung basis bang bukod sa ito. Okay. Bukod naman yung parang isa, it might not be enough data kasi to say na na eh, kumbaga sa basketball, di ba? Hindi naman lahat ng free throw papasok. Mm. <laughs> Sana lahat. Sana lahat. But, but I, I guess that would also depend on the kinds of standards used. Uh, the reasonable standards used. Baka naman uh, uh, madali namang ma-check. Ma- ma- like, mukhang may exam or something. Pwede. Di ba? Depende rin. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so yun eh. Uh, depende rin sa empleyado yan. And kung sakaling pagbutihin mo, then more or less, tingin ko papasaka. Now, assuming na hindi, it's discretionary ko on the part of the employer kung gusto ka pang i-training or mm-hmm. pagbigyan. But the deal is, nung tinanggap ka as probationary, kailangan ipasa mo yung standards. Sounds like a good deal. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, so yun po ah, during probationary. And in fact, uh, in the case of Myra Moral versus Momentum Properties Management Corp, it's a 2019 case. Mm-hmm. Uh, during the probationary period of employment, the re- employer has the right or is at liberty to decide who will be hired and who will be denied employment. So again, even sa cases, sinasabi, discretion po talaga na employer. employer. Kasi kumbaga, uh, kunwari nag-order ka dun sa online mo, hmm. hindi ka naman pinipilit na tanggapin. Di ba? Hmm. Kung hindi talaga pasok dun sa use case mo, hmm. eh, wala tayo na. Huwag mo bilhin. Huwag mo bilhin. Okay. In the same way, nasa buy-in stage ka pa kasi. Hmm. So, So, hindi talaga pasok yung empleyado dun sa uh, purpose na binili mo siya, binili, or hinire for, then you're not obligated to uh, do so. Okay? And, uh, uh, what else can I say? Uh, while the employer nga pala, attorney Ramon, mm. which reminds me, while the employer observes the fitness, propriety, and efficiency of a probationary employee, in order to ascertain whether such person is qualified for regularization, hmm. yung employer po seeks to prove to the former that she, uh, no, 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 the employee seeks to prove to the employer that he or she has the qualifications and proficiency to meet the reasonable standards for employment. Again, this is from the same case, ha? Ang pinupunto po natin dito, trabaho po ng employee to prove hmm. na pasok ako dyan, pasok hmm. ako dyan. Why? At the end of the day, sino ba yung may dapat na patunayan? Yung employee. Yung employee. Yung employee. Yung employee. Okay. Kasi yung ibang probationary employee, parang papatay-patay yung dating. Mm-hmm. Yung parang taking it for granted. No, no, do not. Do not be complacent po. You are there to prove that you belong. Okay? 
So you are there to prove that you belong. Where you belong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, ano pa ba ang pwede ko masabi tungkol dito? Uh, tatawid naman tayo pagdating sa, ano naman, sa uh, requirement on the part of the employer. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I want to s- emphasize lang the fact that yung standards po ah, kailangan at the start of employment. Hindi po pwede na habang ini-evaluate mo, dun mo lang siya susupresahin na parang, Jared, ito yung requirements. Ito pala yung standards. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. It has to be given at the start. Mm-hmm. Okay? Uh, if the employer uh, fails to do that, actually, deemed regular, the, this is the case of Abbott Laboratories versus Alcaraz. Mm-hmm. This is a 2013 case naman. But there's an exception. Oh, ano yung one. exception? If the job is self-descriptive in nature. Okay. So, parang obvious na obvious naman from the job itself, such as maids, mm. cooks, drivers, messengers, kung obvious na obvious naman kung ano yung trabaho, then even if walang disclosure na binigay at the start, pasok pa rin yan. No? However, kung ako tatanungin mo, always uh, err on the side of caution. Hanggat sa maaari, kung pwedeng ibigay mo na lang for all cases, then that would be better. Agreed. Okay. Now, let's talk about regular employees naman. Mm. Okay, so, okay. sa regular, tumawid na, six months. Mm. Di ba? So, ano na siya? Or kumasan na siya sa probationary. Regular na siya. Hindi rin siya pwede maging kampante. Kasi okay. hindi natatapos yung evaluations once matapos ka ng probationary. Mm-hmm. As I said, at least yearly, maglagay po kayo ng performance evaluation. That way, mm-hmm. yung mga hindi nagpo-perform, mahahagi po ng sistema, and then you can make changes. Mm-hmm. Now, kung sakali naman na poor performance po yung tao, ano po ang bagsak niyan under the labor code? Ang bagsak niyan, pwede siya ma-terminate on the basis of gross and habitual neglect of duty. Mm-hmm. San papasok yan? Just causes for termination. That's under Article 282. Kung saan pwedeng i-terminate ng employer yung employment ng employee. Maraming mga grounds yan. Serious misconduct, mm-hmm. willful disobedience. Doon papasok yan sa gross and habitual neglect by the employee. So, ano ibig sabihin ng gross and habitual neglect? Mm-hmm. Ibig sab- dalawa yan, ha? Dalawa yan. So, ibig sabihin ng gross, karumal-dumal. Kadiri, mabigat. <laughs> Gross. Or, or mabigat sa madaling salita. Mabigat. Uh, and habitual, ibig sabihin, paulit-ulit, eh, ilang basis ka na, hindi ka, hindi ka naman natuto. Eh, diba? So, as a general concept, how does this manifest in the real world? Paano po siya nag appear in the real world? Usually, poor performance po equivalent to inefficiency and incompetence in the performance of official duties. Mm-hmm. Yun, doon papasok so, yan. Mabigat. So, uh, in the case of Eastern Overseas Employment versus Cecilia Bea, 2005 case, mm. an unsatisfactory rating can be a just cause for dismissal only if it amounts to gross and habitual neglect of duty. So, ibig sabihin, unsatisfactory, uh, unsatisfactory rating, for me, to be safe, ha, better yan na marami. Mm. Para masabi mo talaga habitual. na habitual. Mm. Kung isa lang yan, Pagbibigyan ko na isa pa yan, ibibigyan ko ng ano pa yan, isa pang susunod na uh, evaluation. Oh. Para lang masabi mo na, oh, it's a pattern. Mm. Now, there are some cases where it's sobrang gross, sobrang seryoso yung uh, neglect, mm-hmm. na kahit hindi habitual, pagbibigyan na yan, uh, doon pala pwede ka ma-terminate. Kunwari, operator ka ng tractor, mm. kuya, nakatulog or nakainog, mm. nahulog yung tractor sa kasamahan mo. Mm, yung, ano, yung kasamahan mo. So that's neglect. Actually, pwede pumasok serious misconduct. Pero assuming na ipapasok mo under neglect, eh sobrang gross yun. I think hindi mo na kailangan hintayin. Oh, una pa lang naman yun. <laughs> Para maging... Uh, Di ba sabi ng law habitual? Oh. <laughs> Dapat... <laughs> I, I, I don't think that would apply in this case. So, so there are certain exceptions. Kapag sobrang-sobrang gross naman yung pagka-effect uh, uh, ng negligence, mm-hmm. then it could be a uh, factor. Mm-hmm. But in that case, tingin ko, lalaroin ko yun eh. Baka i-serious miscarriage. Uh, now, uh, uh, another thing. Uh, gross inefficiency is also closely related to gross neglect. Mm-hmm. Okay, kasi both involves specific acts of omission on the part of the employee resulting in damage to the employer so also check your ano, also check your handbooks baka kasi pareho eh. mm-hmm. and uh, yung inefficiency po kasi 
is understood to mean failure to attain work goals or work quotas either by failing to complete the same within the allotted reasonable period or by producing unsatisfactory results. This is from Bruiser versus Leogardo, a 1984 case. Bagong-bago. Yeah, bagong-bago. So, pwede pumasok dyan. Kunwari, sales ka. Hmm. Eh, hindi pumapasok sa quota. Paulit-ulit. Hmm. Or production. Hindi ka nakakapag-comply. Pwede ka matanggal pa lang yung So, ililink together ko lang with the question of this episode. Okay. Kay Cathy, di ba? Okay. So, alawin yung tanong. Attorney, 10 years na ako. Pwede mo pa ako matanggal due to poor performance? Hmm. So, based on everything you've heard, the answer is yes, Cathy. Uh, ang trabaho ko is privilegio. Dapat po inaalagaan yan. Hindi po porque regular ka na, mm-hmm. immortal ka na, na parang, kumbaga, sa survivor, may, may immunity bracelet. <laughs> ah, immunity garland. Uh, necklace. necklace ka na. Ay, wala na. Mm-hmm. So, yung mga empleyado po na nagsasalita rin ng ganito, masyado matapang, na kapag napagsabihan na, ha, regular ako. Mm-hmm. Hindi nyo ako pwedeng ganawin. Hindi po totoo yan. Kasi you are still subject to the rules and regulations of the company. And even as a regular employee, you are still expected to give your best yes. and to perform. Otherwise, sabi nga, di ba? You can be terminated due to poor performance. Masasabi ko naman dito pang balance, eh, it has to follow due process. Yes. So if you're going to terminate based on poor performance, I would advise that you watch our other video, How mm-hmm. to Terminate Properly. Correct. Yeah. So that's it for our episode of Terminal 1. For most of you, this video was more than enough and if it makes your life easier, then you're welcome. But there are those of you who will watch this video and end up asking more questions such as, Attorney, what is the format kung magtatanggal ako ng tao? Mm. Di ba? Mm. Or, Attorney, what are the grounds that I can cite as poor performance? Mm-hmm. Now, if that's you, then we invite you to check out the Complete Employee Discipline System. It's a book where we teach you um, a roadmap of handling employee cases from start to finish. So get that book at info.legalguy.ph forward slash discipline today. One last thing, the ability to work is something we shouldn't take for granted. At the end of the day, it's a privilege. If we do anything to endanger our jobs, we only have ourselves to blame. Let's do a good job so we can be proud to say that we are employed. So wasn't that simple? Now go make better choices.